So here's a problem from the OpenStax textbook under everyday applications. I hope that some of you get to play with yo-yos every day. I don't. So it tells us a little bit about this yo-yo. The yo-yo is accelerating downward, but the string is stationary. It gives us its acceleration as 1.5 meters per second squared. The string is wrapped around a center shaft, if you know what yo-yos are. And the center shaft, it gives us the radius of this center shaft, inner, the inner radius. Um, and it says that it starts from rest. Asks us a, little bit, a few questions about this yo-yo. So we want to find out what the angular acceleration of the yo-yo is. Um, we want to find out what its angular velocity is after 7.5 seconds and what its tangential acceleration or we talked a little bit about why we use the word tangential or linear acceleration of a point on the outer rim of it after about 7.5 seconds. So, the, the equation for angular acceleration is pretty straightforward. It's just linear acceleration divided by r, We're talking about the string being wrapped around the center shaft. So make sure, and I said this before, I always like to, tr to change my units to convert my units to meters. The question is pretty specific about putting it in meters per second and meters per second squared. So I went ahead and converted those to meters. Um, if you don't do that, you'll get a very different answer. So make sure you put your meters in, your radius in meters, and you get that, that, your, that your angular acceleration is 600 radians per second. The second part asks what its velocity, its angular velocity is after 7.5 seconds. Sorry, 0.75 seconds. Um, so these formulas look kind of new because the, the variables are different. But if you remember, these are just your kinematics equations with the angular variables put in them. So you get that the final is equal to the initial plus alpha t. And since we have zero initial, you get to cancel, which is my favorite. Multiply this angular acceleration by, found another one by the time that it gives you, which is 0.75 seconds, and you get that your final angular velocity is 450 radians per second. So we can write in these first two. Which is another reason why it's good to have your problem and then have your solution in a box to the side, because that's when you catch your little mistakes, like forgetting the squared in the denominator. And then this tangential or linear acceleration of a point is we're going to go back and use that same formula but rearrange for linear acceleration. But now we're talking about a point on the outer edge. And so we use the 3.5 centimeters converted to meters, multiply that times your angular acceleration, and you get that your tangential acceleration is 21 meters per second squared. So I hope that helps you in working your homework problems, and we'll see you at the next problem.